Hey guys, I've got a $720 cube unboxing today, and I'm sure it's not exactly what you expected. But, believe me, it was worth it. Let me show you. So, let me open this. Um, now, what's inside this? I know exactly what it is. And um, it is a collector's item. Actually, it's two collector's items that I bought. Um, I bought them from uh, someone who lives in Croatia, uh, in, in uh, Zagreb, uh, which I actually visited this summer when I went on holidays, so, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I, I gotta be honest, I, I washed my hands like five times before unboxing this, uh, because these puzzles are extremely rare, they're extremely expensive, and I really, I've been, you know, wanting to collect them for about six years now, so now that I finally got some... My hands are actually shaking. This is how bad I've been wanting this. My hands are sh shaking right now. I'm stressing out. Uh, Alright, let's see. So, let's see what we got. So, the first puzzle that I'm opening... I'm not sure which one that is, because I, I bought two puzzles for $720. Uh, let me see if I can focus. All right, so two puzzles for $720. It, it might seem like a lot, but these are incredible collector's items. Now, I've never seen one myself. Um, this is the first one. I don't want to damage this. So this one is worth a few hundred bucks. Uh, it usually sells online for 400 to 500 euros. Um, this is actually... Well, if I say it, it won't be much of a surprise, will it? Okay, some of you are probably seeing through the bubble wrap. This is a Mefferts 20 color Dogic. Wow. I, I have never seen one up close before. I've never seen one apart from online, and I finally have it. My hands are shaking. I don't know if you can see this. This is so cool. I've been wanting to have that one for so many years, and it's in amazing condition. Like, the colors are... There's maybe that color that's a bit used. I don't know if it shows. Uh, it barely shows. Um, and there's that one. There's a, a bit of a, a scratch there. No, it's just dirty. All right, perfect. That's, that's good to see. All right, let's see. Oh, what? I heard everywhere that the 20 color Dogic spins like terribly and stuff. I think it's all right. I think it's reasonable. Okay, the tips don't turn that well. I do not want to apply force to this. Okay, I know where the bad turning comes from. Um, but then again, you know, this is this is why they discontinued the item, and that is why there's so few Dogics available in the world. Ah, I can't solve it. It's frustrating. These parts turn quite well, though. So that's nice. Okay, believe me, this is probably the only time I'm going to play with it. I do not want to scramble this. I do not want to play with it, because I just want it as a collector's item. Scrambling it would mean having, you know, risking to break it, which is just not an option for me. Alright, so yeah, it, it, it does require some alignment and some jiggling uh, of the parts in order to get it to turn. And, um, so yeah, I think it's, it, you know, it's, it's fine, it's not a problem or anything. Uh, but yeah, so this is what it looks like. This is the 20 color Dogic, and I'm really glad I got that one in particular because I've always wanted the Dogic, and my favorite Dogics are the 12 color one, the one where every corner is one color, including these tips here, and the 20 color one, because those are the natural ones to me. Like the, the two color one, I mean, it's, it's just two colors, and it's, I don't know, here there's 20 faces, so 20 color makes sense. There's 12 corners, so 12 colors make sense. Um, so yeah, this is one of my favorites, and I'm so glad that I got this. Uh, and that's, I think I'm not gonna touch this anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna need to find somewhere to put it where there's not gonna be dust or anything. Um, to be honest, I thought it was gonna be slightly bigger, uh, but this is a really, really great size. Uh, I, I'm, I'm actually glad, glad that it's just that size. Um, also, there's a black face. Um, I wasn't expecting there to be a black face, to be honest. 
but it makes sense because there's not that many plastics you can mass produce. Uh, or at least not that many colors that you can get and that have a, a good appearance. Alright, so let's just put it back in there for now. I don't want to damage it by accident by leaving it on the edge of the table or anything. And here comes the second collector's item that I got. And I think that one's going to be bigger than I expect because it, it feels heavy. Uh, yeah, it is definitely bigger than I thought it would be. Uh, you probably saw through the, the bubble wrap what it is. Um, nevertheless, let me open this and then I will say what it is. Alright, that is a lot of bubble wrap and seeing the value of those puzzles, well, I'm just glad that there was that much bubble wrap to be honest. Um, Alright, so... Beautiful. That puzzle is amazing. This is the Mefferts, the original Mefferts Golden Cube that was uh, originally um, handmade by Tony Fisher. So this is what it's like in a skew solved position. This is what it's like in a, in a mid-turn solved position. So it's actually a ghost skew. And, um, and so it's, it's not aligned which is why this is technically not a solved state even though that's the state you're supposed to leave it in when you're finished. So that is what it looks like and I think it looks incredible. Wow. So this is one of the two puzzles that I got and I think that's probably... I don't even know which one's the most expensive of them because Dogex usually go online for 500, maybe, maybe 600 uh, euros um, but I have seen Dogex go for 700. But this one, now uh, it usually goes online for, I don't know, 300 to 400, but I have seen one that went for 1.3 thousand dollars. So, you know, it's, I, I don't really know which one is the most expensive one of the, um, of the package. Uh, there is one thing, uh, here there's some sort of bubble uh, from the sticker, so that's not that great. Uh, it's it shows a bit when you when you try to get a reflection in there. Um, the mirror stickers are of high quality though. Like if I put them here, you can actually see my face, uh, which is I don't know. It's it's quite impressive for something that's so old per se. Um, since that was produced in I think 2006. Um, yeah. Wow. So this is the original Mefford's Golden Cube, and so overall, both puzzles, in my opinion, are great. And the thing is, the reason why they're so expensive is that they are collector's items. Because uh, the Dogic was made back in 2003, it was, well, remade back in 2003, but the quality of the molds was too low, so uh, Uwe Mefert had to stop the production, and that's why they're so expensive. As for the Golden Cube, it was a very limited run, and uh, it was made by Tony Fisher, so maybe that's why it got so much value. Nevertheless, this is one of the rarest collector's items when it comes to twisty puzzles. So I am extremely glad to have it. And I really wanted to share this with you. This is now the highlight of my collection along with the Mefferts factory made Dogic. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you did, feel free to subscribe as always. And I will see you next week with some more custom puzzles and stuff like that. So yeah, enjoy your weekend.